Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about The Sims, a game that I don't personally play, but I used to play a lot. And I want to talk about why people play The Sims. Because there's a group of people that, you know, play The Sims, love The Sims, love it a lot. Then there's another group of people that say The Sims is just a life simulator. Why do you want to keep playing The Sims if you just have real life? <laughs> And the short version is The Sims has all the good parts and not a lot of bad parts in a short period of time. You get to see the life of people. Now, the long example is quite possibly the very genius that is behind The Sims, okay? So in The Sims, let's just say I'm playing with one Sim. I create that Sim. I customize him. Maybe I don't do character customization, but I do the, the, the traits customization. I make him you know, evil or good or a neat freak, you know, whatever. So I already, before I even start playing the game, I have time and personalization invested in this character. I feel slightly connected to whatever sim that I make because of all the time I spent creating them, whether that's a little or a lot. Some people it's a lot and that's fine. Now, then you get to the part where your sim has a certain amount of money and you decide what to do with the money. Do you buy property, an empty house, or a furnished house? That's the three options. If you buy property, you gotta invest in the building the house and the furniture, right? If you buy an empty house, just furniture. But then you feel after that choice of building your house or buying an empty house or buying a completed house, you feel the weight of that choice with how well your sim can live, how fun the game is, and how stressed you are about money. So let's say I have $10,000 and I end up spending five, five grand on a tiny house, right? Fully furnished and everything. I'm not going to do a lot of fun things with my sim, right? I might have a bed, bathtub, da 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 da. Bed, I would say a bed, shower, kitchen area, and like a couch and a TV or something, or maybe a computer, right? That's not a lot of stuff. You're not going to be doing a lot of things with your sim. So you might have to go out and spend time going to the public services like libraries, workout gyms, stuff like that, you're gonna spend a lot of time going to public services. Whereas if you have all that stuff at home, which is a more of a money investment, your Sim's not gonna waste all this time traveling around. So then you have the customization, of course, you know, house, Sim, lifestyle, you customize all of that. You have the direct impact on everything that your Sim does. And you invest so much time into this, it's literally like you build a connection. You know how your life is. You are connected to yourself. You build a connection with that sim because of every single action you do has an impact and you can feel the impact, right? Like coming home and getting a paycheck and then taking your sim and like buying a new book or something and then they learn a skill and they're happy. And then you're able to like make it so they... Um, they like paint better or something, right? Or, you know, you're working paycheck to paycheck painting stuff and then you start really getting progressive, progress, then you have to paint once a week, you get 10 grand off of it, right? Th those are the same feelings that you get in real life. And the Sims, they're not one-to-one -one simulation, but they are video gamey enough and real life enough that they're fun and they give you the, re the simulation of experiences that you experience in real life. The Sims is a time investment machine. You have to invest so much time into The Sims. Like, oh my God, if you wanna do anything cool, like build a big house, grow a big family, you have to do so much in the game. You have to like constantly put your Sim to work, make, or I mean, if you have a business building thing, then you build a business, you have to build it up, you gotta do this, you gotta keep your Sim healthy, feed them. This, it's so much stuff that you have to do. And then if you have more Sims, you gotta take care of multiple things that you've invested time in. That's the big thing with The Sims, is you invest time into The Sims and you see direct results from that. Take a game like Oblivion, right? Or even Skyrim for that example. You invest time into that character, which is why you keep playing it. However, you know, you can impact the world. There is a point A and point B to what happens. If I complete this quest, this happens. In The Sims, that's like super complicated, right? If I decide to cook this salmon, not only is my Sim gonna be super happy, super well-fed, 
But, oh, look at that. Reset. Look at that. I got a line going through my face because I'm, uh, uh, the line. Anyways, sorry. If I buy that salmon, a couple things are going to happen. Not only is my salmon going to be happy and healthy, but my wallet's going to take a big pay cut. And literally everything else that I would want for my sim would have to take a dive. Do I want to buy a new workout machine? No, I bought a salmon. Do I want to buy a new bookshelf? No, I bought a salmon. Can I pay my taxes? No, because I bought a salmon, right? Or you could train your sim to fish, but then all that time they spent fishing, they might not even be able to cook the salmon because they don't know how to cook a salmon. They might not be able to go to work as often. They might not be able to paint as often. All these things build up in the sims. So the reason why people play the sims because there's a direct result to everything you do. If you build a house, just a random house, and you leave it in your town, someone's eventually going to move into that house. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos from me. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, blog, or steam and post of whatever I decide to make.